Lauren's here. Oh, we got a heck of a day, girls. <laughs> this got to be one of the best Q&As that we're going to have, all right? <laughs> so, I want to get right to it right away because one question is very long. All right, the first question for Sharon, dear Sharon. I took your advice and I started derma rolling with a .05. I have had great success. I have noticed lately that I'm having what looks like a little bit of skin texture problems and I don't know what to do with it. One thing is I'm wondering if it's I'm wondering if it's interfering with my fillers. Do -do -do -do. Oh, honey, 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 honey. Let me tell you about derma rolling with fillers in your face. If you have your fillers done, wait till you're at least three weeks with it in your face before you derma roll. Do not derma roll more than once a month with fillers. If you derma roll when they're fresh, you're going to move the product all around when you derma roll, which can cause the uneven texture. Now, don't worry, it'll straighten itself out next time you get your fillers done again. But right now, never, never, never derma roll unless your fillers are at least three weeks old into your face, and that goes for Botox also. So be very careful with that. Derma rolling is not just for anyone at any time. We have to really watch that issue. Remember what I said, girlfriend, okay? No more than once a month with the fillers in. Okay, question number two. Dear Sharon, I know that you mostly use high-end skin care and makeup, but do you really notice a difference or can we use over-the-counter makeup or drugstore makeup or skin care? Help me, please. Okay. Yes, I use a lot of, I use more high-end than I do drugstore. But let me explain something to you. It's all about the canvas first. Now, I am a firm believer in medical-grade skin care. Why? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tiny, the little microspheres that go into the skin, it goes deeper into the layers. You're going to pass the epidermis into the dermis, and then it keeps going. It builds up more collagen. Because it's so fine, they're just micro. Drugstore is not, okay? It's good for moisturizing. It's, you know, to hold in the moisture. You're going to find a lot of products that will get you through the younger days. I tell my 20-year-olds, if they haven't started their Retin-A, try the Retin-All through Neutrogena or, or Olay or whatever. But, no, I go for, med for medical-grade skin care only. Now, I've tried other products and oils, of course, but that still goes on top of my medical-grade serums, like my vitamin C serum, uh, like my uh, resveratrol, like my TNS serum, things like that. And so be very, very careful there and get that straight in your head. But once you have this great canvas with good skin care, preferably medical grade, then it doesn't matter what makeup you use, it's going to be beautiful if you're a decent artist already. And when I say artist, I'm talking about you know how to do your own makeup and you do it well. Because I demonstrated in one of my videos, drugstore makeup, and it came out looking just as good as my high-end makeup. I am, though, very, very careful about foundation. I do use top-of-the-line foundations, and I'm going to tell you why again. Because the majority of the foundations that I have found either oxidize on me, or they smear, you know, they streak. They're never smooth-looking. Um, I prefer things like... Um, you know, my Dior, uh, my Chanel type of thing, you know, it works better on me and my Guerlain. So, 
you have to do what works for you. Now, it could be your skin is just, you know, eating up the drugstore foundation. It looks beautiful. And that's great. And if that works for you, stick with it if that foundation is va-va-voom for you. But for me, I just personally really watch the foundation. Everything else I'm pretty cool with, you know. I, I would say go out. You know, let's take a look at two YouTubers that come to mind. Um, the first one that comes to mind is Anne Marie. She uses a lot of drugstore makeup. But because she is taking good care of her skin, she looks like a million bucks. You would never know that she used any drugstore products because she looks as good as everybody that's using high end. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, the next one that I, I, I just have a fit over is Trish Oliver. Trish is known for the infallible base, you know, makeup and a lot of drugstore in stuff from time to time. And if you look at both of the gals, they look absolutely fabulous in drugstore makeup. But they are really taking good care of their skin, and that's where it's that's what it's all about, girlfriends, okay? Take care of that skin and you got a made in the shade. Okay. This <laughs> Oh, you all better take three deep breaths. You better have a drink ready because this is going to be tough. This is a question that came in from a pretty big subscriber. And I notice she's on everybody's channel. And I love her. Don't get me wrong. I think this subscriber is great. But I get a, got a very unusual message from her. And, you know, I told her I was going to uh, read this. Now, I've read this, uh, and I swear I bet I've read it 20 times because I have to be careful. I don't want to rub anybody the wrong way. <laughs> Not that I care half the time, but do you understand what I'm saying? We're going to try to keep this cool today. Um, I tell everyone, before you send in your questions, just, you know, it's at your own risk, okay? I'm a real straight shooter, girlfriends. I'm going to tell it like I see it. If you want the truth, come to me, all right? If you want to dance or skirt around, find somebody else. Uh, I'm not into that. I call it like I see it. Now, I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to answer it as best as I can. Uh, Dear Sharon, I am a very loyal subscriber to your channel as well as to a lot of the channels in your mature community. I have, however, been very unhappy with the women on YouTube representing beauty and class. Hang on, girlfriends. I got my glasses. You know, it's getting heavy now. Said, I am appalled at the hairstyles, makeup, and clothing that YouTubers are wearing. This is a beauty channel. You would think that you're going to see some nice, beautiful clothing, very trendy, up-to-date hairstyles, and beautiful makeup with instructions as to how to apply it properly, and women with good skin. These women don't know how to dress or accessorize properly in <clears throat> order to set a good example for their viewers. Actually, most of them are extremely tacky. I would like to be specific here. Okay, I thought she already was. Um, I see women with all these off-the-shoulder tops in almost half of the videos, and I'm getting sick and tired of seeing everyone walk around half-naked. Uh, these tops, by the way, are extremely cheap and cheaply made. And gosh, I see halter tops all over the place. I don't understand what you ladies are trying to do. I also see too much cleavage and, and uh, highlighters that look like everybody is a slick road. There are only a handful of women in the age group that I can watch. I feel as though 
you YouTubers have started channels just either to make a little money on the side or they're doing it for entertainment but they're not really out for beauty or fashion because I don't feel like they've been trained. I cannot applaud a 50 plus year old wearing fashions for a teenager. Most of their fashions are very inexpensive and I find them extremely tacky and inappropriate. I think women 40 plus want to know how to look their very best and to be very classy looking and have gorgeous skin and good makeup techniques. And I think they should be role models to the others out there. They need to pay attention to what they are doing. I find that the ones that claim to be makeup artists had the worst skin that I have ever seen in my life. They need dermabrasion, they need Botox, they need some sort of resurfacing. I don't know what they are doing, but most have just horrible skin. Tell me, Sharon, if I am wrong or right. You are the only one that will tell me like it is. Okay. I reread this at least, I know at least 20 times. Um, first of all, let's talk about the off shoulder tops. This year, one of the biggest trends has been the off shoulder tops, whether it be one shoulder or both shoulders showing. That I personally can applaud because it's trendy for right now. As far as them being cheaply made, you have to understand, when we get on here to show you different fashions, we want to show you budget-friendly fashions sometimes. We can show you some off-the-shoulder tops that are exquisite and, and beautiful real lace tops. We can show you lots of things like that. But the women that are showing them now are showing you how to get these trendy items that are budget friendly. That is my opinion on that. My next opinion on um, on the cheap fashions is there again I think they're trying to show you things from uh, Target, uh, TJ Maxx, um, Marshalls, um, you know, different places like that, that again are budget friendly. As far as them walking around looking like teenagers, I have only actually seen two YouTubers, and I think it was around last year or so, uh, with a, maybe an item or two that looked a little too young for their age. In other words, maybe the, maybe the skirt was too short. Maybe they got the outfit in the junior department. I don't know. But the other things they had were fine. Not everybody is going to dress the same way. And I get what you're saying about class. I totally get what you're saying about teaching you the finer things. But there are some YouTubers that are teaching you that. They're teaching you about fashion and makeup on a higher end level. So, my answer to that is, don't watch the others then. Just watch the ones that you want to watch. And I'm trying to be really nice here, and I'm having to really fight with it, okay? So, bear with me. I'm not a mean person, but I just know what I know and I feel what I feel. You see what I'm saying to you? I want you to understand this. Um, as far as some makeup artists having terrible skin, I, I, when a makeup artist goes to school, their main thing is learning makeup techniques. They talk a little bit about skin, but it's an esthetician and dermatologist that hit the heart of the skin. Okay, so if you see a makeup artist that may not have the greatest skin in the world, well, so be it. Who cares? We're looking at that particular person's makeup techniques. But I hear what you're saying. 
Now, if you're very much into skincare, stick with people that talk about skincare a lot. That'll help. If these makeup artists are not coming across with the makeup the way you like it, go watch a younger YouTuber or find someone that you can identify with. Um, I, I know this can be confusing, but you have to understand, not every single video that each of us put out is going to cover every single thing that you may be looking for. Some may, some may not. Um, I don't do a lot of get ready with me's. Well, hell, I don't do any get ready with me's, I don't think. Um, and it's because of my setup. Plus, uh, you know, I'm more and heavier into things like skin care. That's me. So if you want a makeup artist, I wouldn't think that you would come over and see Sharon unless you just want to, you know, see what outrageous thing I'm going to say. Now, I will do Get Ready With Me soon when I, my location changes, but I am not a makeup artist. I'm a skincare freak, though. You want to know how to mask and you want information on that? Come talk to Sharon, okay? If you want a question answered, you want something straight, come see Sharon, okay? I'm not going to push your foot around. I'm not going to push your foot around with you. I just tell you that understand each one is teaching and doing something differently. And so I don't want you to judge them that they're necessarily tacky if they're putting across a point that they're trying to make, like a cheaper off-shoulder top that perhaps everyone can afford. You know, I know on YouTube it's really hard for everyone to love high-end things and upper crust things because they're on a budget. You're talking about a 40-plus group. And the majority are really 50 plus when you get down to it. So they're empty nesters, and then you get up to 60s, and everybody is watching their pennies more. They're on a budget, 65, they, you know, they're on Medicare, Social Security. What can I tell you? Everybody's different. So I want you just to pick out who, you know, who turns you on and who doesn't. And it's okay if, you know, you don't necessarily identify with that particular YouTuber. Um, but I wouldn't say that there's anything wrong with them because you have to pay attention to what, you know, they're saying and what they're putting out there and then you will be able to identify. And yes, we are a beauty channel and yes, we do try very hard, but not every single person has expertise in every single department. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you. And as far as um, tackiness, oh, yeah. Come on, of course. And, and, and believe it or not, if you've watched it, then you understand, Tacky. I've seen some on here that are a hoot. Uh, am I like them? No. Do I enjoy it? Yeah. It's great fun. And believe it or not, you, you'll enjoy it too if you just sit and watch them. Because you could just sit there and just shake your head. Oh my. You see what I mean? But there's something for everyone on YouTube, even in our age group. I don't, I don't want you to think that no one is qualified in our area and that we just sit there looking like a bunch of old tacky slobs because that's not the case. The case is we're all trying very hard to bring you the best that we can. And that's what we're all about. So, gosh, that was really nice. Didn't I do a good job on that? I was struggling with that. Because, you know, <laughs> you creators know that I'd probably say, stick it where the sun don't shine, okay? But I did not do that. I really want you to understand where I'm coming from. I hear what you're saying, but I just want you to be a little more open-minded and and, and and I know we have a an, an odd little group here, but it's a fun group, and everybody's a little kooky and fun, and everybody's different. But we're here to bring you the best of the best of the best, everything we've got. Trust me, we are. And so many of us are trying to do it on a budget. Now, you're not going to find me talking to you about a lot of budget. That's not, not the way I roll. I roll with what I like and what I want to bring to you that works for me, okay? But if I found a little tacky top, I'd tell you about it. Sure I would. Why not? Go for it. You know, be sexy, be lovely, and do it on a budget. <laughs>
It's so, I hope you heard that loud and clear, okay, girlfriend? We love you, and we love you, you know, as a subscriber. Just hang in there with us, because we're just going to bring you all the variety, and if you'll just grab something to drink, grab you a glass of wine when you watch YouTube, okay? It goes down so much better that way, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much for your question. That was outrageous, and I did love it. All right, ladies. Okay. So much for my Q&A today, okay? How did I do this? I think I did really good on that. I mean, after studying that question for a long time, I think I was pretty diplomatic and cool about that, huh? All right, you know I love each and every one of you. I want to thank you for joining me for my Q&A this week. I love you, love you, love you. And to all my new subscribers, hey, girls! We're having so much fun. It's so great to meet you and really get to know you. I'm totally enjoying it. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And to each and every one of you, stay sassy, classy, and confident, and tacky, if you will. All right? I love you. Mwah. See you next week. Give me a thumbs up on this one.